As, a one, as one recent sociologist pointed out, Japan is the only major industrialized country with a fourth generation immigrant problem. Now, problem is perhaps stating it too strongly, uh, but across four generations, immigrants have still maintained a separate status and have maintained a, 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 a non-Japanese nationality. Um, the Chinese community um, arose when the port was open for foreign trade in 1859. Uh, many of the original Chinese uh, entrants and the Chinese um, arrivals uh, were working for foreign trading firms. By the 1880s, uh, there, there was a one quarter of town that was predominantly uh, settled by the Chinese and started taking on Chinese architectural uh, characteristics. A number of, uh, you know, the Chinese cemetery was established around that time, along with a number of temples. The local identity that I've described in this book um, uh, posed quite a few dilemmas for the individuals who lived through them. And I think this really comes through in the chapter where I talk about the Asia Pacific War. Uh, a, number, a number of families were divided by the war between China and Japan. Many of them attempted to remain in Yokohama, they would claim to be Chinese, but also native Yokohama residents. They would claim to have a local identity. Um, and that, of course, is much easier said than done. Uh, a number of them were uh, charged with treason at the end of the war um, by the Chinese government uh, after Japan's defeat because of this uh, accommodationist or collaborationist um, uh, stance that they took. Originally, I was just fascinated with how um, these, uh, these Chinese people, and they did identify as Chinese, um, understood their relationship with Japan and how they understood their identity. Um, and I saw in this the possibility for some way to reconcile, reconcile um, conflicts between, you know, this long-standing sort of uh, rivalry and, and, and conflict between China and Japan. Because here clearly are a community of people who have made peace, who, a community of Chinese who have made peace with Japan. Does that mean that they're less Chinese? Does that mean that they're secretly, that they identify as Japanese? These are sort of the questions that, that I wanted to answer and did not exist. They were, they were not answered in, exist, in the existing literature. Um, what I think is interesting about my study and the way that it, it differs from a lot of other studies of immigration, naturalization, acculturation, and so forth, assimilation, is that it's, it's taking, looking very seriously at the way that uh, a migrant group can become integrated into a society which does not have the policies, which does not have the, the public expectation uh, that they can become, uh, that they can naturalize.